I'd like to tell you a story. The year is 1990. A 15-year-old from South Central wakes up on a Sunday morning in the home of one of his best friends, David, a young Jewish transplant from New Jersey. All he can do is daydream that one day he'll have a place like David's. See, he is a student who has been bused from a lower income disadvantaged part of the city where houses like the one he just woke up in are only seen on The Cosby Show. This young black man lives with his mother, his nine-year-old sister, and his stepfather in a one-bedroom duplex. Quite a contrast from his friend's palatial home. They've been friends since junior high school, and it is a rarity for the young black man to stay in Woodland Hills on the weekend, but this weekend was different. The young black man convinced his family to let him take his driver's training with his high school friends, so he got the permission to stay overnight. So on this particular Sunday morning, before the young black man was to catch the bus three hours back to his home in South Central LA, his friends gathered at David's and walked to another friend's home who had a full-length basketball court in his backyard. Not having anything to play in, the young black man was given a brand new, never worn jumpsuit that was hanging in his friend's closet. This was the best day ever, until it wasn't. As the teens walked to the basketball court, they passed a disheveled home. And the only thing that could be seen clearly was a huge faded Confederate flag. Suddenly, a large, clearly intoxicated Caucasian man staggered out of his home and without warning, yells out, you take your pet nigger and get the fuck out of our neighborhood. Well, the kids were all frozen for a moment, not knowing how to respond to this man. Then the man quickly turned his ire on David and take that Jew boy with you. With anger, Welling up inside them, the four teenagers decide to approach the man, but before they could act, another man of similar size stepped out of the home and joined in on the verbal barrage. You know what we do with niggers and Jew boys out here? Y'all are about to find out. Well, the four teenagers bolted, running the entire way to the courts. The parents called the police, but nothing came of the matter. That day, that Sunday morning in Woodland Hills, California, was the first day that young black man felt the sting of how racism feels. I'm Lamont, and that's my story.